Good morning all and a warm welcome to all of you. Today's faculty for the day is Dr. Venu Purushottaman, a very multi-talented uh, personality here. He's currently working as professor and head Department of Orthodontics and Dental Official Orthopedics, Game City Dental College, Cori Code. He's also a dental council member, dental, a member of Dental Council of India. He's been awarded Outstanding Dentist Award in 2014 from IDRR. Honored by State Indian Dental Association twice on Dentist Day. He's got a National Award of Outstanding President State Award by for the best president of the state. He's been a guest speaker for national and a national orthodontic conference, a guest speaker for PG convention, several national state and local CDEs. He is a permanent uh, ethical committee member of Dental Council of India, Kerala Dental Council. <coughs> He's also a proud Rotarian, assistant governor of Rotary uh, International, Rotary International. He is the president of Alumni Association of Dental Colleges in Kerala. And finally, a proud alumni of the prestigious Government Dental College, uh, Calicut. Over to you, sir, for the presentation. Good morning, all. Good morning, everybody. See, uh, Unni, I, I can't see my screen. Sir, sound. Can can I see my screen? Sound is not there. Sound is not there. But my screen is not visible. They're not in the sky. So, good morning, everybody. Good morning, my teachers, elders, senior colleagues, my dear friends, students. So, Namaste is the first thing I have to say because let the mind beat. We are locked down temporarily and by a simple coronavirus, novel coronavirus, which changed the landscape, healthcare landscape to everybody. <clears throat> but we have to unite and we have, we'll, we'll withstand all these things. Now, uh, let me thank. Unni and uh, Pravish especially for this opportunity and uh, Shaju Mandoli and Namaji Mandaj also because let me ask you start with a small question. When was the last time you did something for the first time? I don't want you to write, I don't want you to write in the chat box now, but just uh, listen to this. My session will be, I think I, I want to come up with an in, instructional objective. I always tell my students and um, after every presentation, you need to come up with the instructional objective. That means IO, IO means after the end of the presentation, the participants would come out with the framework or they should come out with the five cardinal points of a presentation. Nothing also will be there in this presentation. I think it is be more of an introspectional objective. So I'm asking you when was the last time you did something for the first time? I think if I say this is for the first time I'm doing a webinar, it will be false. I've done webinar for my students, but not in a bigger format, bigger platform. I'm using Zoom technology for the first time. And thank you, especially to Undi Krishnan and Pravish. <clears throat> 3 lakhs, 64,147 lakh confirmed cases across 210 countries. 2 lakhs, 11,533 deaths. And India have 29,551 deaths. And 931 deaths in India. Okay. And Kerala has got less than five. Now, this is a scenario, this is a current scenario of COVID in our state globally and in, and in India. And why dentists are eager to attend clinics? Despite this, what can be the reason? The reason can be this, to meet their daily bread, standalone practice, whatever it is, they have only single practice and daily bread is met with. Same thing, when I joined dental college, Dr. B. Ilbal, B. Ilbal is a public servant now, he told me, he was a neurosurgeon that time, you don't change your profession to dental to medicine because daily bread and butter for dentists is assured. It was 30 years back now, 30 years right now, we don't suffer for daily bread and butter, but dentists are eager to attend clinics. Fear of patients going to other practice, 
And definitely that will be there. If you're not in the practice for a long time, say 30, 30 days or 40 days, if you're a patient going to the other practice, definitely can appear, occur. If you're scared of it, okay. Fear of other present practicing. This is the main mindset of our care lines before. The power failure in the house doesn't matter us. If the power failure is there in other houses also, we are okay. That means the fear of other person practicing, EMI, household expenses, rent, etc., force us to practice. Losing the track of work schedule is very important. They fear that they may lose the track of work schedule. That is very important. And no other work in home. They are fortunate to have very good spouses there at the house. They don't allow their husband or spouse to work. Uh, no work at home. They go to clinic. No ambitions at all. Voids and ambitions. Do not see life beyond and dental fields. Nothing. They know nothing about other fields. They only know dentistry. Leave dentist and die as a dentist. It's a wish to die as a dentist. Leave as a dentist also. Less fear because no kitten can have contacted the disease. Okay. Dentist doesn't understand the disease pandemic. We have faced so many pandemic, they will say that. We have faced HIV, we have faced black, we have faced cholera, whatever it is. This, this small novel coronavirus, what can it do? And it is changing its structure also. It initially it was told that it won't exist in hot climate. And so Kerala and the south, the south part or southeast part of India will be spared. But nothing happened. Middle East is totally gone. Uh, Kerala is gone. Tamil Nadu is gone. So that, that thing is not uh, in, the, in the air now. Next thing was, it does initially have a cough, sort of a reduction come with Choma, Choma, like nothing came. Then it again changed. It's become asymptomatic or subclinical at all. Then it, you can be termed as a COVID patient for if you wait for 14 years, 14, 15 years, the disease will appear. Something like that. Now it is 24 days. And yesterday, day before yesterday, a case reported 26 days. When yesterday Saju, Dr. Saju was selling, yesterday was a case was reported up to 44 days. So the incubation period, nothing is there. It is changing its format. Why dentists have to wait? So let us let us wait. Because it warrant additional infection control consultation. We don't have it. We don't have this, this clinical structure to warrant additional infection control mechanisms. Airborne precautions is not possible in most dental settings. Okay, unfortunately, we don't have it. Infection control rooms or single patient rooms and respiratory protection program. These are not in our clinics. 99% risk to contact a spread spreader. Mass infection can occur anytime. Asymptomatic carriers are a reality, right? Then, do not have training of the maintenance, training and maintenance of the equipment. There's no guidelines for training and maintenance of the equipment. DCA, everybody has come up with guidelines, but no guidelines for maintenance for this thing. Not sure how far our patients are protected. No vaccination in the near future. Now Trump has come out with some vaccination, some Lysol drinking, something like that. So no easy testing modality. Health authorities will seal the clinic. If something happens, untoward things absent, health authorities definitely will seal our clinic. Is better and media, media won't spare us and the legal issues. Tonight, you just take your call and you are calling your mom and dad or calling your home, sir. Uh, mommy, I'm diagnosed with COVID positive. Let's imagine the complications. First of all, you will be totally isolated from family members and persons in contact. You are in COVID ward and that is terrible and you will not be with family care. Neglect of society and misery. Risk factors of psychological and psychological distress. Definitely going to happen. And income will be derailed. And more to come. Infected individuals become sick or lengthy convalescence. And if your child is affected, they may lack skills and development. Okay. No one will come for help because of fear of the disease. Finally, you will lose life. Who will be there for your family? There is a beautiful classification given by uh, Dr. Ashwant of Chennai, because it was a, he is a public health department head. Uh, it is a controversial slide. You would just listen to the slide. He mentioned a classification he built for this, and he mentioned three zones: green zone, orange zone, and red zone for different different practitioners. First of all, he took uh, the single chair practitioner, single chair. 
about 20 years of practice and this rural setup area is rural and the patient the, the doctor's age is between 30 and 60 years he has mentioned them in the safe group in the green group and 5 to 20 years of practice very urban about 60 years they are orange zone but in the red zone he had put into zero for the five years of practice less than five years of practice particularly urban practice the people who are less than 30 years because it it came up with a lot of controversy and i also called him day before yesterday and to clarify this slide he told me that those people need to be spared those people have long life they have dreamt a lot they dreamed about a big life huge life pg whatever it is so they need to be taken care of and the rest of the people practice the same style european people think about 70 year out of the world right economically sound dentist there is one group of economically sound dentist they are well off they can spare they can take around 60 days of holidays i know one friend of mine is an orthodontist in mumbai he take one month leave every year and make sure that you go into foreign countries okay he can definitely wait second group is moderately economic dentist he can also wait is waiting is the best policy predict the change and wait wait for the time to come dentist having secondary business this is very good warren buffett itself had told that you have not if you have multiple you are diversify your business that is always better dentist having secondary business is it's many dentists have secondary business now one arun baskar has got a hotel is but hotel business and then the dentistry so the best thing is that he has offered free food for dentists during the covid period anywhere anywhere going between chennai and no sorry chellari university can have a step down in this hospital is hospital hotel and can have free food and then this beginners they have their purpose view they don't they don't know what to do when when to start and should i start so what is the problem in starting a lot of angamas are going on here and there and then comes the most stubborn dentist whether to praise him or to curse him we don't know he is ready to practice and so many dentists are there who are practicing during this covid period and they can they might have taken some people from gulf who has been a, a, a hero <laughs> they are our heroes right when the dent, the war was going on kuwait they stayed in kuwait they stayed back in kuwait and made money out of it these people are those people who practice now and i know many people who are practicing in mukam and medicine and this in the shrey was a discussion happening in executive group so many people practicing in chellari sorry kuchari uh, somewhere there so the discussion was going on like that so these people are not aware about this is i think and before returning to the practice let us let us speak to our insurance agent whether if the doctor has acquired the disease from a patient which group it will be included in ask the insurance agent about that the medical claim for the treatment of the private hospital will be covered if it is found as negligence or accidental you should ask the medical claim people ask your lawyer whether you have acquired all the charges and you have to speak to the lawyer also some of whom may die okay ask the local workers union if the staff has come up with this disease what will happen to them uh, restraint is a better part of valor and you have to give the small directives to patients i am not mentioning everything inform the patients that you are back to work through social media or whatever it is you have, you just inform them pain management be only taken care of <laughs> and no other elective procedures especially oral pathology is recommended clinical practice by appointment you just follow the european norms just you just just give appointments to everybody so each patient will come at a particular time and give 15 minutes break 15 or 30 minutes break so as to do the rest of the work no random walk ins patient plus one attending person maximum additional charges you can pay if you are just willing to and face mask to be worn by the patient and the doctor so i just rushed down through so many slides i know that because it has all given in dca guidelines idea guidelines idea has come up with some it is going to come up with some guidelines kd kerala dental council has come up with the then guidelines wdc has come up with the guidelines for the auxiliaries and around the guidelines surgical guidelines prosthetic guidelines so many guidelines and we are filled with guidelines we don't know what to do with it we are because we are a one person industry we have to manage everything so this is the chart new york times says that dentists are the most vulnerable people no history for saying the same 
Dentists are the most vulnerable people, and followed by paramedics, nurses, and flight attendants. And the congressman also has showed shouting for the shutdown of clinics to prevent corona spread spread. Okay, definitely, yes. We can only spread the disease, we cannot control it. But don't worry, we have faced so many things. Initially, when the dentistry has begun, we had only a backdoor entry through all the functions in Europe and UK, especially in UK. We were considered along with barbers and prostitutes because we're dealing with bad blood. We had only a backdoor entry. To that backdoor entry, we are reached up to a level where Rolls Royce car has endorsed our name in the advertisement. We will never see an advertisement of a Rolls Royce car. There's one set of advertisement was there. If they say is the best business people in America and the dentist can afford us. We have come up to that level. And it's a beautiful quote by famous singer and singer and lyricist John Lennon. He thought about a world free of no wars, no bloodshed, no terrorism. He said that life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. Very true. I have made a lot of plans, a lot of plans in my kitty. It's all vain. It's all uprooted. It is what happens. Life is what happens when you're busy with some other plans. So it is now we to decide whether we have wasted a time of 40, 31 days or 40 days, or we have to come back after this. All right? See, if you're 50 years, you have lived up to 18,350 18, days, and only 70 years of practice means 7,300 days left. Okay, so what to do? You're, you just cry that I have lost a quantity of 30, 40 days in life, or you are to, you're wishing that your quality of life is maintained. What can I get is everybody thinking after COVID, after going to, going to practice, what can I get? Instead of that thing like, what can I add? What can I add to the profession? What can I add to the field? What can I add to the industry? What can I add to my college as a teacher? What can I add? That will be better, I think. There's too many webinars. Because it is the body lockdown, not the brain. Even if it is body lockdown, you just, you're not blocked down. Okay, you're not blocked down. Don't allow it to block down. And the entrepreneur inside is boiling. Okay, let him come out. You're still the entrepreneur inside. And everything around us is changing. We have to change according to the change happening. Business is changing. Management styles are changing. Business is not the business what we do it uh, 10 years before. Total business is changing. Technology we are using Zoom. And Namaste India is another platform for using Zoom. So systems and processes, everything is changing. Marketplace is so wide. Initially, we start off uh, dealing our practice in a small village, then into the state, now to the count the of the country. And globally, we are thinking. And the competition also is at par. Approach towards the best approach towards changes. Observe and wait. That is, that can the sound dentists, I, I spoke about the sound dentists, they can afford to do this. They can they develop, observe, and see what the situation is occurring and, and wait. Or the Nakan NAC group can accept the change as it comes. Okay, we just welcomed Nipah. We had two episodes of floods, then now this, Corona. Accept as it comes and predict and bring the change, right? Are you prepared for the next disaster? We have to prepare for the next disaster. We doesn't know whether we, go, we are going to practice in one month or next days. <clears throat> so if you go to practice also, this condition is going to be there for 2021 and 2022. So are you prepared for the next disaster? I want to tell you, try an extra one percentage. I will never tell you you try 50 percentage or 100 percentage. Try an extra one percentage. My discussion is all about this. During the 31, 21 days of locking period, if you are not improved, at least by one percentage, physically, mentally, professionally, whatever it is, because yeah, then you have to think about you have wasted 30, 40 days. Try extra simple one percentage only. Just see this. I'll take you back to 2008 Olympic Games, the butterfly stroke final. Okay, so the people are ready and they're. <laughs> the starting point. Now let us see the results. Michael Phelps, 50.58 seconds. He finished the race. And you know the multi Michael Phelps is the undisputed champion of the pool. Kavik of Serbia becomes second, 50.59. Australia, Andrew becomes third, 151.12. And you know this personality, this picture? Who's the picture? Whose picture is there? 
is nothing but who is is Andrei Sardinov of Ukraine. He was a gold medalist for Andrei so many years because he's in the seventh position. He's nowhere in the same. From medal, gold medal, silver medal, to gold medal, no medal. It's a matter of just microseconds, less than a second, less than microseconds. And the difference between Michael Kadia, Michael Kavik and uh, Michael Phelps is only microsecond. And he's the first, first round, the first 50 meters, Michael Phelps on the sixth position. The last 50 meters he's printed, he's just take charge and he was a winner. So do you think Andrew Sardinov is an ordinary person? No. This is Usain Bolt. And his reason is Usain Bolt is an outstanding win. He is 9.63, 9.75. See, Asaf Pavel in the seventh position and Tyson Gay, the eighth position. Tyson Gay was not qualified in this race. Asaf Pavel was 11.99 in the race. He, has, he and Tyson Gay had defeated Usain Bolt before. See, one extra one percentage, these people have won from Ordinary to extraordinary to extraordinary, extraordinary is just one percentage or less than that. Okay. Do you think the Sayyid Sardinan is an ordinary person? Not an ordinary person. He's an extraordinary person. He has been the gold medalist for Serbia, Ukraine. Then you don't you can become extraordinary extra because he lost the race by less than one percentage. Point micro one second, he lost. And there, these words become very important. CTS, Alt-TS, and Fort-TS. What does it mean? It is the Olympic in Sinia. CTS, Alt-TS, and Fort-TS. It means faster, higher, and stronger. And we don't want to be faster, highest, strongest. We don't want to be just one person faster, one person higher, and one person stronger. That is okay. That is okay for you. There's a beautiful article by Anderson Erickson about the role of deliberate practice in acquisition of expert performance. He says that somebody who begin with a piano is learning with piano, and if he works for 4,000 4, hours, 4,000 hours of practice, it will give him a good performance. He's a good performer in, uh, if he does just 4,000 hours. This is calculated for 10 years. Okay, 10 years, in 10 years, 4,000 hours practice. We'll divide into five, we just multiply, divide it by two, we make it five years, five years. Good performance in 4,000 hours of practice is good. If somebody does 8,000 hours of practice, it's a professional performance and unparalleled performance in 10,000 hours of practice. So every day we work around, if you calculate around seven hours per day, that means 42 hours per week, right? 168 hours per month, and it goes up to 2,000 something around one year. One year, year you practice around 2,016 hours into five. That means over 10,000. You have unparalleled performance now. You have you need to have unparalleled performance if you work more than 10,000 hours. That is what he says. He's a Anderson Erickson is a psychologist and is a researcher. Yes, a lot of this thing about this thing you can search his ID. So have you become somebody who was unparalleled performance? <laughs> have you attained that? And this is Bill Gates. Bill Gates had done 10,000 hours for programming and before he left Harvard University. It was done by Michael Gladwell. And daily practice and deliberate practice. Okay, daily practice means what you're doing is daily practice only. 4,000 hours or 2,000 hours or 8,000 hours. We practice, daily practice, we routine practice. We don't find any charm in it, any, any, we're not interesting in it, any, nothing. But if you deliberately practice it, if you ask me the thing I know the most, I will speak about industry. If I think, no, you ask me the thing I like the most, I will never speak about industry, I will speak about something else. That is what deliberate practice means. You practice it with a purpose. Okay, you deliberately practice it with a purpose. What is the purpose of you being a dentist? What is the purpose of you being a orthodontist, what is the purpose of you being a teacher? So this is deliberate practice. So work experience, somebody says, claims that I have 30 years of experience. Do everybody have that? Many people have that. Do really they have that? 30 years of experience. If it is daily practice, I will say one year repeated 30 years. And one year we do the same thing, one autonomous thing, not change in it, and 30 years of practice. That is it. And change, 
21 days, if you do something for 21 days, continuous 21 days, because this is written by Maxwell only, you will do something. You don't wait for 2,500 hours, I'm sorry, 10,000 hours, 21 days itself, if you do something. So 21 days was well calculated by Modi ji, I think. We have 21 days locked down first, then it's been extended to 41 days. After 21 days, if you do something, you are better off. So my question initially asked was, what was the question like? When was the last time you did something for the first time? That was the question. So McKinsey, McKinsey had come out with a beautiful framework, 7S framework. Okay, this is for business people, in business, in professionals included. Professionally included, McKinsey's framework, McKinsey is a consultant for many, many big people. So it has come out with a beautiful strategy like this, 7S. 7S has policy. 7 has got importance in something, some numerological importance. 7 C's, 7 days in a week, 7 uh, wonders of the world, something like that. So he talk about systems, structure, and strategy. Initially, on the top line, he just spoke about systems, structure, and strategy. And style, staff, and skills in the below session. Okay. These two are different sections joined together to form the shared values, that is the patients. Okay. If we join this, we'll get the spaceships. So what is system? For the system, you okay, will discover style, stuff, and stuff. Okay. Style. What is style? My style won't be the style of other doctor. Um, the, the clinic style won't be the matching with other doctors. So many receptionists who come from other clinics say that this is not matching with other clinics protocol and thing. So our style of doing it may be different. Basic thing remains the same, but our style will be different. Systems means if now you have to you have to employ many the staff according to the, their knowledge in IT. Okay, computer should be known to them, so you have to follow the system. I am I'm not I'm not structuring on this the area strategy structure and system. I'll just briefly explain it. And structure means you your clinic is not equipped for a, any procedure DCA guidelines. Any anybody matters. Any anybody who has come out with the guideline doesn't match with your clinic. For sure. At least, at least you look at the tiles, the tiles interlocking the margin, there will be a small area that accumulates a lot of dirt. You can't you get the Europeans and others is the Middle East also, they cover it with a sheet. So structure wise, we are not safe. And Saturday I'll discuss later and style and about the shared value of the patients I'm discussing about. And how frequently your expenditure is checked. Have you ever checked your expenditure? So this, okay, at least don't do it because you are not done it, better do now. You're not late. The 30, 30, 40 days period. Have you ever checked your expenditure statement? Have you ever called your staff over phone? You checked whether your receptionist or the cleaning staff, how are they faring? <clears throat> how are they meeting with their expenses? How do they leave? So this is all courtesy calls you made. So initially, how frequently you visit your expenditure? Call your receptionist, sit with them, and have a check it. Check it. If you're unhappy, you check it every week. I not check it, but if when I checked it, I found a lot of disparity in it. You might find a treasure there. Plugging the leaking taps. So many leaking taps will be in any, every clinic. We can see a leaking tap. Find out the level of the leaking tap. You just roam out on your clinic. It's a plenty of time, ample time. Nobody's disturbing, no patients, no clients, nothing. So you have an ample time to roam around your clinic, see where it is plugging, your inventory, where is your loss in your inventory, materials, everything. These are the best time to check all these things and shed the extra fat, business-wise, professional-wise, whatever fat it is, shed the extra fat only by that. And why do you lose patients? Customers I just written. Why do you lose patients? People are so concerned about losing patients. Initially, I had 30 days, 30 patients per day. Now it is reduced to 20 and 25, something like that. We are about you lose customers. It's a simple reason. One person loss by debt, three percentage due to moving to other places. One person by debt means either doctor or the patient. Both can die. Three person due to moving to other places. As an orthodontist, we find it very difficult to maintain the patients because our patients are mainly adolescent patients. And they may shift to Trishur or wherever the entrance coaching is done. They move there at the prime of your know, treatment. So we just miss some patients like that. And 5% due to new friendship with competitors. Our competitors can be good. They are better learned than us. They will go with their new friendship with competitors. And 9% due to market competition pools. 
this uh, see, advertisement can and advertisement marketing can definitely pull nine percentage of your patients, definitely nine percentage, and fourteen percentage dissatisfied with product or service. Fourteen percentage dissatisfied with product or service. That means your skill. So some oral surgeon may say that I will just extract the tooth without looking at the patient. An orthodontist will say that I will throw the brackets onto the patient's mouth. It will bone exactly where it is, the facial access point. It will exactly bone it. So that all counts only 14 percentage. That means 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 9 plus 14 is 32 percentage. There is a 68 percentage gone. The rest 68 percentage gone. It's gone nowhere. 68 percentage gone to indifferent behavior and attitude at workplace. Is only reason in different behavior and attitude at workplace. So there's the importance of soft skills there. And now this year is working good for soft skills. 2020 syllabus, the it has come out in the syllabus. So it, you have to learn soft skills also. There will be an exam for like soft skills. So the soft skills main thing is communication. And uh, knowledge, information, education, all education that is available only on improving technique and skills. The educational system is very bad. They are improve, only, aiming only on improving technique and skills. And these are very useful, but not focusing on clinical practice management in India. Practice management is very important. They are not looking on to that. Despite having clinical clinical cells, we are seldom great successful practice owners. There is no knowledge about running the practice as a successful business. Definitely you should consider as a successful business only. Your patients will be old, the different type of patients will come old and loyal that means whatever mistake the doctor does the patient is yours only all yours humble yours if you miss the tooth extraction also it is a wrong tooth extraction the patient will be loyal he'll become to you only and the new referral and new and referral patients sorry the new and referral patients you have to take care of these patients new patients mean the way the new patient is the start the starting of the patient that the, the, the way they are received way they are received is very important the receptionist can spoil or make your game light referral patients only the other other patients are referring from and sufferers and complaining sufferers and complaining patient means those who are done treatment from somewhere else and not happy with that they are coming to you and window shoppers window shoppers are okay we should there only give them these three options I usually give three options for, a, especially if you just consider an orthodontic case with the spacing, with generalized spacing, an orthodontic complaint has come to you. And I always give three options for them. First option is always the best option. I'll tell naturally we can close it by orthodontics. Second, it's a, it's a tooth size place, as you can see, we can close the tooth a bit by orthodontics and a small bit by composite. Then the third option, I think it, I'm not finding it unethical. I find it unethical, but I'm not, uh, okay. The, the option is there. You have to cut the tooth, uh, root canal has to be done, then the crown has to be fixed. I'll tell this and the patient goes to some other clinic. And if by chance, the doctor say the first option as my third option, definitely the patient will come back to you. Okay. And avoid bargaining. First, you stop bargaining. You go to a supermarket, you go to a vegetable vendor, you go to a food shop, and you bargain. Don't do that. Stop bargaining. And value your work. Your work is very valuable. So value your work. That means, I, I'll tell you about Picasso's incident. Picasso, Fabro Picasso was a great vendor. And he was tired after the long work, and he wanted to take rest. And he was off from his busy schedule, and he was roaming around in a small garden. And one mother and a child happened to meet him, and mother recognized him as a Pablo Picasso. Approached towards Pablo Picasso and told him, Sir, kindly make a picture on this paper. Pablo Picasso told, I'm tired, madam, I'm just off from my work, I can't do this. And the mother again pleaded, said, Your son, my son is a great fan of yours. You have to do something for him. Please do something. Pablo Picasso took the paper and drew something and put a signature also, then gave it back to mother. Mother was very happy and about to leave. Then Pablo Picasso told, "Sir, this picture cost you one lakh rupees. One lakh, and I meant that time, whatever it is, huge amount. This took three lakhs rupees. Three lakhs rupees." So mother told, "For a simple painting, simple painting, you are charging three lakhs, and for 
a simple painting, you took Quran only three minutes for this painting to happen, and you are charging three lakhs. It's an exorbitant charge. And Pablo Picasso told, for this three minutes painting, it is my 30 years of experience. My 30 years of effort is there for a three minutes painting. So I value my work, and you pay to pay three lakhs rupees. That is the policy of, of, of if you, are, you value your work, and being cheap is a false economy. And the first patient visit, orthodontics, if you're doing a photo study models or in the discussion of fees, something like that you should do. And you should analyze your patient and find out the patient, who, what type of patient is. First one is patients can have three types. First one is auditory patient. Auditory means you have to speak. You can, you, the patient will understand everything you, 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 you speak. Everything you're speaking will be a patient and be understood. You don't have to write anything. But the next group is dangerous, visual. They want everything in writing. They want to see the videos. They want to see the pictures of it. Everything they want, they want visual. Third thing is kinesthetic. They want to visualize. They want to feel it. They want to feel it. Now you have to, you have to do a mock surgery on them or whatever it is. You have to show the videos, et cetera, et cetera. And most important part of communication is listening to the patient. Because you have to listen more and speak less. That's why God given us two ears and one mouth, that is said. And majority of medical legal causes are due to poor communication with the patients. You just check, you might have had some talk with the patient. So majority of medical legal cases are due to poor communication with the patient. Patient not understand you. And we do need to check this. Let the patient give his history full. We don't give his time to the patient to give history. Every 23 seconds, we tend to stop it. So that should be made. And all these things, these techniques are taught in a program called Neuro Linguistic Program. It's a fantastic program. This tool is used by advocates now. This tool is used by senior police officers for the terrorist and for dentists also is a very useful tool. Some of our doctors are attended the section. I have attended the preliminary course. NLP is a fantastic program, Neuro Linguistic Program. It will help you in communicating with the patient. And see, if you all do this, you are called a born artist, somebody will say you're a born speaker, somebody will say a born surgeon, somebody will say a born cricketer. See that these words are insulting to their effort. They are not born. They are due to their very daredevil efforts, they only become this. Babies are only born, only babies are born. And what to do in a marketing, be a brand. Be a brand. What to do about brand? Just, just use your chat box. Can you just, what is this? Just do it. Uni? Uni? Yes, sir. I'm here. Yeah. I, I told the participants to use a chat box. Yes, sir. What is it? Just do it. Nike. Nike. Yes. Everyone is like Nike. What is the brand? What is the, what is the, what is the brand? Nike. Okay. Nike. It's a simple, simple thing. Think different. Uh, no answers have come. Uh. Okay, think Apple. Think different is Apple. Okay, okay. Open Apple, happiness okay. is Coca Cola. Coca -Cola. Okay. <laughs> then deleting you always Canon. Go further. Ford. Ford. And the best man can. This is wrong. Best man can get his spouse only. And becoming a brand, if you are known to 20% of people among your area, then you are a brand. If you are known to 20% people in the orthodontic fraternity, if you are known to 20% people in the oral surgery fraternity, you are a brand. If you are known to 20% people on the dentist around you, you are a brand. If you are known to 20% around the people in the state, you are another brand, your state-wise brand. Then like that, if you're 20% known to people around the world, in the world, you're the global brand. Okay. Then this was told by Fred Joy. It's everything in my, it's marketing. It is in a, his, his book is available. And his book is detailed about marketing and marketing trends. Marketing versus advertising. Marketing is totally different from advertising. And marketing means you have to start with a good website. The website, offline marketing is there, online marketing is there. Offline marketing, we can, you will need to have a USB. At least the clinic's owner should have a USB. That unique selling proposition definitely will market yourself. 
then you have to give the company with i have joined a cute company called better dentistry is a whatsapp group there we show showcase all our cases so you showcase your cases there that's what that's how become your marketing and marketing by online marketing is done by websites and lot many things you can join practo whatever it is google dentistry is coming up and now whatever you do i think i i'll answer this in the question answer session i think the time is going up so i want to hurry iq versus eq initially it was iq only then it was become eq then it become socially quotient sq but what is more important is rq resilient quotient because you have to bounce back from where you are and customer was the king initially during the gandhian period but now it is employees the king employees are the king you have to treat your employees like king only uh, now i am giving a small group d1 d2 d3 and d4 the mesh classification some you are turning out in the staff what kind of staff do you need if you are calling for an interview what do you look for in a staff what all qualities you look for in a staff hello okay work loyalty and or ability or loyalty the d1 group of is like this loyalty zero percentage work is 100 percentage okay and zero percent work 100 percent loyalty loyalty includes honesty coming on time discipline everything zero percent work zero percent loyalty okay and the fourth group is 100% work and 100% loyalty these are the four group of staff you have staff includes receptionists the cleaning staff your junior doctors whoever it is so you have to convert the first group into your group 100% loyalty means loyalty can't be bought that is something somewhere there in their life so those thing you have to be very happy about loyalty work can be any day thought you can like teach them you can show them you can go with them and you can slowly 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 learn them all the things okay and the second group god help the organization zero percent work zero percent loyalty only god can help them it is mainly because of the some call from minister some call from uh, private secretary or call, some call from collector or something like saying that please take this man somebody like that only they, they have zero percent call loyalty and zero percent work and 100% work and 100% loyalty you have to keep them like a shop piece you have to treat them well and they are, they needs a lot of bond of recognition and recognition everybody needs recognition they need motivation okay they you have to preserve them and buying a benz or a luxury car and doing nothing in a clinic patient will notice it definitely notice it you have to do that so better be a leader than a boss a leader usually coaches them creates enthusiasm develops okay he fixes the breakdown and asks let us go is the way he says but boss is totally different he drives the employees inspires fear and always blame people for breaking down and come as if you want to say say go like the guy that <clears throat> so convert your people into assets that is what the main thing to say the key to a successful work is teamwork the key to a successful free teamwork is environment is teamwork and leaders are like all gods they also lead from behind so in the muhammad nabi and jesus christ and sri krishna they all were shepherds and they led the shepherds sheep from the behind only from one stick they are on a single line and the new concept i want to believe i want to introduce is a dental coach this is running in the usa and uk it's, it's it's a popular thing a dental coach is a new concept i think uh, my teacher jeram sir used to tell me whenever you are doing a case always think that a third eye is watching you the third eye is can be a god's eye or invisible people person's eye or a master's eye something like that a new dental coach i, I think they have to have introduced the system in india it is do we need a coach actually such a dental doesn't need a coach you don't need anybody to find him the sweet spot he'll find it you have some people without coaching you'll find it out you don't say well, coaching is a waste of time for him he will play as he likes only 
So we need a dental coach for he will just observe the things. And above people above 70, we don't we don't have the habit of Japan and Italy. We don't scare spare them. We use them as a dental coach. He can employ in our clinic, and he will watch everything. And quality is never an accident. It's a result of conscious and sincere efforts. And anybody got an idea about what is this? 1969 to 1948, 1955, 2011, 1972 to 2000. It is unfilled. Any idea? Only chat box. Name? No, sir. No, sir. Not text. Speak, speak presently. No, sir. Nothing yet. Okay. Okay. 19, sorry. 1969 is the great Mahatma Gandhi's birthday. And 1949 is expired. 1955 is Bill Gates. It's because of him we are doing the Zoom seminar or something like that. And 1972 is not great. I'm not a great person. It is my birthday. And it is unfilled also. I don't want it to be 2021, 2015, 2000, whatever it is. But the small dash between the two dates, okay, this is very important. A small dash between two dates, there is a small two years, it's a small dash. That is your life. Leave your life large, at large. And RIP means are you a relevant person? Are you interesting and informative? Are you a purposeful patient? That is more important. Don't be a, we, we are all born with the ordinary person. We are ordinary person and we are born BOP. We become very special person by birth and by our activities, BSP. And we become VIP due to our social status. And we become a VOP when we are a useful person. And I am greatly obliged to these two people, Shaira teacher and Pinarayi Vijayan, sir. And these who are the leaders of Kerala who does, uh, or done a great job of rescuing us from corona and floods also and i'm an obliged to share the teacher for being employing me as a dental council member and you have to decide to conclude you have to decide whether you are a villain or a hero before you're going to work and i expect you to change at least one percentage change in you if you want to practice after covid so you just decide are you a villain or a hero Thank you. Thank you, sir. That was a beautiful presentation. Uh, very different from our usual academic topics, but it was really good. Very motivating, sir. Any questions or if anyone would like to talk with the faculty, uh, please raise your hands or ask questions. We will answer. If anyone wants to interact, kindly use the raise the hand option so that we can allow you to speak with the faculty. It is the what Benusar told today is not just related to dentistry, it's related, you can use his presentation in our life also. It's it was very motivating. So a question has come, how to deal with a very sensitive patient? How to? Deal with a very sensitive patient. Sensitive patient. So you have to talk. Yes, that, that, that's what your communication need to be very good. You have to talk to the patient. You should understand what is the problem actually. You have to speak in and turn in full term. And, and one thing I forgot to tell you, this counseling and this thing is done in a special, special group. That's what I told you in question session, I can answer more. You have to have your clinic set up like that. You have to have a separate room for a counseling session. There you, there you have to sit with the patient and talk with the patient. Is sensitive means what sense? I don't understand what the sensitive means. Hello. And that's all the question that she has asked. Uh, I hope she will come again with a more emotionally very sensitive patient, sir. Emotionally, okay. And we have to understand the emotions first. First, you have to understand what type of patient he is. I th that's what I told you. NLP will help you to find it out. NLP will the first visit only you can understand the patient. Is emotionally okay? Then you have to treat it emotionally. You have to be emotionally well. Right, sir. 
Sir, uh, another question has come, which is, uh, it's a problem that plagues all our dentists. How to deal with a patient who compares the treatment charges to another dentist who charges less? How do you deal with such patients? Okay, uh, that's a very good question. Uh, I think I told you about a slight, small slide, bargaining, right? Uh, how to yes, prevent sir. bargaining patient from bargaining? Always tell that I am using this material. Don't say that I'm using a better material or, or something like that. But your charge is for your expertise. Don't charge for the material. Don't say that I'm charging for the material, something like that. Patient might know the charges of the material. He might go to the lab. He might, okay, well, what you sell is your expertise. I am good in this treatment. I have learned so many treatments, so many, I, I know this treatment, but I'm, my expertise is charging. So in the Jaram sir usually tell, it is my skill and my expert I'm 30 years of experience or whatever it is, I'm charged for the patient, not the materials or whatever it is. So tell them and don't see bargaining patients, please don't, please tell them I'm not comparing with anybody else. I'm comparing with myself. I'm competing with myself. I'm comparing with myself. I don't compare with anybody else. So this is my charge. This is I can want to do, do for you. And I told you three options, right? Three options is a best, very good option for any patient. Three options you give and the third option you have kept us. I think it is unethical. I don't do it. Okay. Okay. Yes. Sir, uh, next question is, uh, I think you are the best person to answer. Uh, it's about marketing and advertising. Unfortunately, our profession is saying that it is unethical. What can be excluded from the code of ethics? How can we deal that within the ethics? How can we mar market our profession? Okay. Very good question. DCA has very stringent about advertisements. The only area where you can advertise is when you start a clinic. When you start a clinic, you can come up with a lot of pamphlets. You can come up with um, the radio advertisement. You can have a TV ad. You can have a scrolling also running for three months. That is allowed for initial practice. And for the beginners, for the beginners I'm telling, do one thing. If you're inaugurating a clinic, call maximum number of patients. Let all the patients know that you're inaugurating. And if you have, so some people have a soft launch than a hard launch. So soft launch, if you have money, you do that. Otherwise, you call everybody. Don't call a small portion of patients. Then your marketing, you cannot say that in your pamphlets, some discount for the patients, 30% discount for scaling, 20% discount, 80% discount, better toilet cleaning is enough. So don't do that. Don't do any marketing, hangama like say marketing means, you can market with your photographs. You can have your website, online marketing, you can go to Practo, can go to website, you can have a beautiful, beautiful need, though, need not be highly sophisticated website. Simple website will do. But do fill it with your photographs, what your clinic are doing, what other cases you're doing. So that is the best way of marketing. Can we have a Facebook page of, it, of our own cases? Yeah, Facebook page, it's, it's, based, based, it is linked to website. But you can have Instagram page. You can have a WhatsApp group. It is allowed. Instagram and WhatsApp is allowed. Facebook, there's got some, some, some complaint has come. Facebook can link with the website. That's the only thing. Then, sir, uh, uh, how do you convey to a patient that you're not interested in treating him because of his attitude? I mean, uh, how to avoid a difficult patient? Don't avoid difficult patients. <laughs> make the patient your patient, make the difficult patient yours. Try to convince <laughs> him what is the problem like. So, you, first of all, that's what that's what I told you. You try to understand the patient. Okay, the patient of different types different scenario, different setup. So we have to try to understand the patient and making the different patient, difficult patient yours is your skill. That only is a skill. Okay, okay. Sir, uh, one Dr. Abdul Rahman, he would like to talk to you, sir. Uh, to yes. Speak, uh, one second, sir, we are making him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, you're on. You can speak. Hello, doctor. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Yeah, this is Dr. Abdurrahman. Yeah. I'm basically from Thirur. I just want to know regarding you are telling, uh, doctor, you are talking about uh, some bargaining or something like uh, that. Yes. I felt some <laughs> don't bargain yourself. That's a good advice. But, mm -hmm. uh, doctor, let me know like um, now in this world, uh, like I think so, dentist uh, is, has been mushroomed right now. Mm -hmm. 
too much and uh, i feel uh, uh, doctors are still uh, on bargaining side only what advice do you have for this because i i could feel like uh, the patient when they come to the clinic they will just put their head only in, into the door and they, they'll start bargaining there itself it's, i feel like it's because of uh, uh, what the dentist mushrooming of clinics mushrooming of clinics and mushrooming of college yes right? mushrooming of clinics 27000 students per year are passing out from each college sir from 27000 and 2.7 lakhs dentists are working in india it is tough and uh, it is 5000 per one patient that is a, yeah. that's the current statistics it is tough to practice like that and successful practitioners and practice of uh, practice for 55 20 years they can very well say don't bargain but the but the younger dentist better tell them don't entertain bargaining yes doctor you because find uh, the ways and means to find uh, the ways and means to yes yeah. doctor what i felt is uh, i i started practicing from 2000 onwards and uh, yes. ceramic charges at that time was also 2000 rupees and now in 2020 also the ceramic charges are going uh, not above it's coming down like 1800 1600 in that way it is going on so okay. that's what i felt uh, like uh, if you are having any advice to us you could have given uh, that part sir say i'll tell you i self sold that uh, the being cheap is a false economy the economy is totally wrong so being cheap is false economy you value your work and i think you are not i clearly told you don't mention about the charges you met with a ceramic you just told them, tell them about your expertise you are good in this you are experienced for 30 years or 40 years only that only that thing you to be you have to highlight in that only highlight the, your experience and expertise in the field i don't i don't think you the way you charge i i never encourage patient to come a telephonic they are asked for a consultation fees telephone fees about orthodontics i will never tell them through phone i'll invite them i'll tell them that i can't say if some, some patients i'll treat only 25000 rupees some patient might go up to 45000 rupees it, it, it just depends on the implants i use but i don't usually tell about the quality of the material i always tell about the expertise yes doctor okay thank you so much okay sir uh, another question has come up is like uh, some patients don't reveal the proper history like uh, in respect to covid 19 so how do we manage that in such cases god save the doctor <laughs> <laughs> that's only answer see uh, to, at, at least we can find out a thermogun thermogun so some patients are asymptomatic also and uh, that's what dsa guidelines says clearly says use your thermal gun that is a minimal thing you can find it out but the patient is uh, some 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 symptoms otherwise let's god save him okay okay sir uh, do you uh, can you tell us some courses to uh, learn the soft skills needed in a dental practice do you know of any such courses sir so many courses sir so many courses i can uh, put them into just contact me i'll just put them into a group yes sir so you can put them in the group yes that's enough. yeah so another one, sir, some elderly patients will be very scared. How do you convince them to undergo that surgery, extraction, whatever? What is it? How to cope up with the fear of surgery in elder patients, elderly patients. Elderly patients? Yes. Um, <laughs> it's a tough question. <laughs> so, as our surgeon, Pravish, you can answer that. Uh, sir? Mm. Pravish? Yes, the answer sir. for that? You will fear of, basically fear of, uh, fear of uh, I wasn't person, following the person. question. I was actually... So fear of elderly person, how do you manage? Can you, can you repeat the question? How do you, cope fear how do you convince an elderly patient who is scared of surgery? How do you convince that patient into surgery? No, my, uh, my limited practice, I think, I think there are many senior uh, surgeons here. But then, uh, in my practice, what I do is, I make them very comfortable with me. The initial day, I talk with them, I talk about their uh, family, and we build a good rapport, and I assure them that uh, everything will be taken care of. I mean, I will uh, take good care of you, and uh, I don't convince them for surgery as such. They get convinced with my talk, and uh, usually my second appointment will be surgery for such patients. So that's what I do, and I. Find but also, communication skills counts, right? Communication skills counts there. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Definitely. 
according to situation you plan it yes yes, yes. yes. see only this communication skills is a 21 hours days program it's not yes, an easy sir. program it's, it's a 21 hours day program that's why i told you 21 days has got importance 21 days is usually taken for community communication skill to be taken course that <clears throat> It will yeah. want to be covered, can last, be covered in one last hour. Last 21 days, we are being held up with webinars. Now we can't imagine attending a normal class. <laughs> <laughs> right, at least we have been doing something for the general faculty, uh, fraternity. Now, yeah. any more questions? Anyone wants to ask? Anyone wants to talk? Otherwise, uh, we can, I think we can wind up the session. So, should dentists use PP kits post COVID? Uh, or should you restrict the PP kits to the front line? Uh, Various. Hello. Ah, sir. So should dentists yeah. use PP kits post COVID? Ah. Or uh, should we uh, restrict the PP kits for the front line warriors for care? Can you repeat your question? I don't understand. Should dentists use PP kits post COVID? So that is the question. Okay. De dentists use PP kits ah. for COVID patients. Yes, for they have to use. COVID. Right? They have to use. Post, Actually, post it's COVID. Post, so not post, just for not just for uh, uh, Corona, for COVID patients, for all the patients. For all the patients. Yes. You can use. You can use. There some some modification will come. It is washable. PP is there. You can use. Definitely use. It's actually a good thing. It's an eye opener for us. It's a benchmark situation for us. We have to be use, using everything. We are not using anything. PP or air filters and nothing are using. It's an eye opener for us. I've seen a clinic, it's shown in a video. It's called White Dental Clinic, somewhere in Tokyo or Japan, something like that. He is a lingual orthodontic practitioner. After every case, he stopped his clinic for 45 minutes. And defumigation, everything is done much before COVID. And he started the second clinic. There's only four patients in a day, four patients in a foil, lingual patients, lingual orthodontic patients. He does the clinic like that. The clinic's name is White. I think it's an eye opener for us. Yeah, to be with the precautions okay okay sir uh, thank you sir for such a wonderful session it was uh, a beautiful presentation we learned a lot of things not just about the practice for improvement in our life also we all will try to improve one percent more hopefully and we'll uh, uh, try to improve ourselves thank you sir thank you so much Next, uh, Shaju sir would like to talk a few words. Shaju sir, are you here? Right, Dr. Shaju. Kanala. Yes, Kana. Ah. Uh, I had an inform informative session and at the end, end there were different sessions too. And yes. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get the same thing. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get the same thing. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get the same thing. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get the same thing. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get the same thing. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get the same thing. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get the same thing. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get the ജേസിസിലോന്നുമില്ല <laughs> 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 Thank you, Venus, sir. It was a totally different topic. Thank you. Uh, wind up? Yeah, wind up. Yeah.